this it's a 4 am a small village outside nasik india the entire world is quiet but one particular small home a soft light is shining a woman she is going to start her day she is not preparing for go to the market or fields instead she is at her small room with her mobile phone she is speaking in marathi in her own language and recording a i mean podcast surprisingly that woman she is earning more than five times before without leaving her home as she stayed at a far away village now the question is how did this thing happens ai artificial intelligence this example is very much close to my heart because i always believe in helping people to reach their full potential my name is dr jayanta ghosh i am an entrepreneur and educator i have seen that in my entrepreneurial journey and with the working with the business owners students and lot of other people that is ai is not only changing the businesses ai is changing our lives moreover ai is giving the equal opportunity to everywhere no matter where you from so we have a perception we often say that ai is a kind of a technology like machine learning and automation and data but the role of ai is much bigger ai is something because ai is providing a platform to us to provide our how to we can grow in our life and succeed in the past if you see that it was a some we have limited opportunities due to our geographical locations our education and there is the connections and the resources so here it was like that those who are not living in city those who cannot afford the education they are deprived from getting success or growth in their life but ai is providing equal opportunity to everyone to grow that that person is it may be from it is it is li, li, least bothered about the person is from they belong the city or the village but the opportunities are same for everyone ai does not replace the human human potential it helps us the way it helped to the that particular marathi women to use her skills her knowledge her expertise her message to disseminate to the entire world and to compete globally let me tell you more about that particular marathi women she had limited access of education and lack of job opportunities but her strong point was her that is her skills her voice that is her herbs skills on the herbs and some natural remedies natural medications and marathi stories which she used to share within her village but with the help of or the to as a ai as a platform as a foundation she has 
now she is able to share her knowledge to the outer world. As she recording her podcast in her own language, AI is translated to the different languages and it is sharing to the outer world. And she is earning five times more than before. Simultaneously, she is also sharing to her fellow villagers to share their knowledge and expertise to use through AI as a platform. So here, it is that particular, the key of the AI is not the technology. It is, it requires proper use. So here is my one simple formula that is constant plus variables plus response is equal to growth. Constant is, here it is constant, is AI is the constant, here it is. Variables, how we decide to use it and with our response, we receive our growth. That response which we have received, that particular Marathi woman, she has received her progress and growth in her life. So AI cannot at her at own, it is not possible to reach or acquire the growth, only it requires the response. So let's talk more about that is AI is breaking the cycle of our inequality. Reason behind that is AI doesn't matter, doesn't bother about who, I, who you are, where are you from, what is your qualifications, what is you belong to city or village. AI only, only matters because your capability, if you have knowledge, if you, if you have skill, your voice, your message, you can share it through using the AI platform. So here it is the AI is the greatest equality of human lives. Now, let me tell you because the usage of the AI. AI is not only it is city centric, AI is providing uh, its benefits, its support to the villages where education was not there. There is a very lack of knowledge, lack of students, those who are not sufficiently uh, guided by the teachers, lack of teachers. AI is getting the support. AI is providing that particular farmers of the village how to crop, how to mitigate the waste, how to grow. So these are the benefits of AI. It is not only city, it is for the village it is giving emphasize. So, but AI won't alone can grow or develop the society. We need leaders. We need leaders, something like that, those who have the visionary mindset. Those who are not, will not be working for, the, for their benefits, for making money. Their objective should be to grow and develop for, not for the few people, they are, they are, their focus should be the mass people. So these visionary leaders can make really some difference in the society with the help of AI and with, it is not, AI is more than a tool. In that case, they have to disseminate, they have to share knowledge to entire society. Here it is, let's imagine that one farmer from Punjab, that he is taking the advantage of AI as a tool to understanding or getting the time for the plant, right time. Even that entrepreneur or business owner from Mumbai is taking the help of AI how to grow his business with a limited manpower. Similarly, in the healthcare also, that is, with the help of AI, we are getting the advice in a very simplified version. So, 
here we can say that is as we individual even entrepreneurs innovators and though everybody have their role to develop to grow society with the as a ai as a tool ai is a platform for the benefit of the society so with this note i am i would like to say that is we should not consider ai this age is not the age of ai this age is it is the age of human with the progress with the support of artificial intelligence so i am going to sign off thank you all for patient hearing and i would like to express my sincere thanks to tedx msa jc for inviting me and to present myself thank you